Hello and thank you for tuning in to episode 18 of the Europore podcast where we talk about weird shit from around Europe. Today we have news from Germany, Scotland, Poland, Turkey and the great old UK and I also have two follow-ups to some old stories we I had in the previous episodes. So you have uh, that to look uh, forward to. Uh, I'm joined here with uh, these two fuckwads again, Mr. Horia. Low. L- low. Low, low, low. <laughs> yeah, the age is mute. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Frenchman. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello. 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 <laughs> And then it's, it's the ultimate fuckwad, Mr. Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> 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 Uh, Are you an old yeah. Japanese man? No, I'm not. Even though I have a small dick, so uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm kind of half Japanese. <laughs> I'm hey. Japanese in the bottom half. <laughs> And if you see a picture of him, he kind of looks like a Japanese old yeah, man. Yeah, Horia has a lot of pictures with my dick. So. <laughs> 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 Okay, that started it off well. Uh, let's begin with the old uh, old shitty game we have, Rock, People, PayPal, where we decide who goes first. Um, who's gonna do the countdown this time? I, I, I can do it. You can do it. Okay. Yes, work, 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 work. Okay, Tovarish. Tovarish Rihanna. Okay. So, I'll start counting in three seconds. Start counting to one again. Okay, does that make sense? <laughs> Everything's clear? <laughs> I think the rules yeah. are too, too complicated for me. Okay, I, I'll explain it to you like someone else explained <laughs> it to me. So, uh, like, I'll count to three, then I'll count to three again. And then at the end of it, <laughs> you're gonna choose PayPal, fuck, home, boom, whatever. <laughs> Uh, rock, cock, and more. Rock, cock, and suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do the countdown with a go. With a go? Yes. Okay. Willy, 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 go. <laughs> It's, okay, I'll start now. So, three, two, one, go. Paper, rock. scissors. What? So it's a tie. It's, yeah, it's we'll, a tie. Have to, we'll have to do it again. It's, I'll start again. This is the first time this happened. No, I don't think it happened uh, before. It happened before, like in the first two or three episodes. Or it something did? Like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, once. Don't, okay. don't worry, it's just once. But... Okay, okay. <laughs> Now it's twice. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go again. The next time we're gonna this say it happened twice. This guy can count, man. <laughs> this guy can count. <laughs> Only to free, so that's why I do this. <laughs> If it's four with the go, I don't know uh, how the fuck you no, do man, that. I can't do this. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Heard of this concept, but... <laughs> go again. The concept of four. Go, you can't go. comprehend. <laughs> Show go. Go baby. Go baby. So, uh, three, two, one, go. Baby. Scissors. Oh, come on. <laughs> so that's the first time. <laughs> okay, again. God forbid it's gonna be the fourth time. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Scissors. Right. Rock. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the most British reaction ever. <laughs> right. I lost. Uh, I think it's Irish though. I mean, it's more Irish than it's English. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll do it for you now. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Rock. Paper. Fuck. <laughs> you. Rock, fuck. <laughs> Rock, fuck you. 
It's been so long since the last time you've won that I can't remember. <laughs> like <laughs> he only won once. I <laughs> think once or twice. Therefore... Okay, right. Oh, so I can still God. count that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then it's your turn to begin. It's my turn. Yes. Is yeah. it my turn? Yes, okay. it is your turn. Let me let me try to to think what do we start with because we have one that I absolutely love and one that I absolutely cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cringe one. Yes, cringe. No, first. say no. one. You wanna start with the cringe one. Mm, I was thinking maybe <laughs> maybe ending with the cringe one because I, I I think it's gonna be funnier. I'm not sure about that. I mean. I, I love okay. cringe shit. So. I, I, this. I, only, okay. I can only count to three, okay? We'll play okay. this little game, okay? Where I'll count to three, and then after that, each of you has to pick the biggest number up to three and just say it. Uh, say it. And like, oh, who says the highest number wins? You, <laughs> you get just, me? You just want experience from your only skill, counting to three. So you're doing it over and over again. Oh, it's Pick like... a fucking story. No, you got, you got, you got, okay, you got go, the game, right? Go with the funny one first. <laughs> go with the fanny. With the fanny. Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> go with the fanny, and then we can take the cringe. Okay, check this out. I love this guy's energy. I mean, I, he's not, he, he's insane, but I love the, the guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't completely rule it out that I'm going to end up the same if I get to his age. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck it. So, an 81 years old man ran around the playground with a machete because the children were too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would be one of them. Yep. You would join the club, <laughs> that club. Machete. On Monday, <laughs> Machete, yeah. On Monday, an older man showed up at the playground in Tarno Brze, Brze. Some, something. Somewhere he in Poland. Yeah, you nailed it. He had it. a machete with him. He started singing it and threatening the children and one of the mothers. The court will decide about his fate. I mean, well, what's left of it? I think. <laughs> if you get so, to this point, there's not much faith to decide. <laughs> the man, the man didn't like the boys playing football and making noise. Fortunately, nothing happened to anyone. The police says. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you anyone do, except do you the guy. <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember that guy from Poland that the the ambulance? I mean, I think I had that article. There was yeah. an ambulance coming in because there was someone in his house that didn't feel okay, and he just threatened them with yep. a fucking sword. <laughs> yep, it's and like the samurai I sword. There's a common theme. <laughs> or they're old related, guy. man. Or they're like family. Old, old guy and it's legendary all about blade. Family. <laughs> Nah, I think that meme died like a week ago, so... Nah, it didn't. The kids, the kids, the kids are strong, but the machete is stronger. <laughs> <laughs> it's sharper, though. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> how, how much of a cunt do you have to be to do that? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, uh, you'll, you'll get there, <laughs> Gavi. You, you'll no, get there. <laughs> no clue. That level. You, you could go with the classical Eastern European approach and just go yell at them and threaten to beat them or something. Yeah, but you see, it's getting old after a while. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, eventually they're going to figure it out that nothing's going to happen. <laughs> you have to take it to the next level. And that's you when have you bring to make in the it machete. believable. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Tell them a story that they can believe. You see, <laughs> machete, your head, that's a good mix. <laughs> uh, hey kids, what do you think is going to happen when this machete hits you? <laughs> <laughs> you still uh, start, do you still want to yell? Uh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I'm gonna be your, your uh, teacher of violence. So yeah. uh, let me do this, do this small homework until tomorrow. If you keep on playing, I'm going to smash your head with this. What do you think it's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the movie Machete. 
Only it's the, the <laughs> Polish <laughs> version played by Danilo uh, Trejovic. <laughs> Trejovic. <laughs> Instead of Danny Trejo. <laughs> <laughs> Danilo stress again. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Danilo reloaded. He's yeah, threatening the was, kids now. <laughs> it was on the first movie or whatever, you know? It was that one where they had those cars that were bouncing. I think so, man. I have no except, idea. Except in this one, you have old Ladas and, and Geezies. <laughs> <laughs> I like two episodes ago. <laughs> <Never find you. laughs> Uh, Holy shit! So according to the to the police, uh, they received a report about an elderly man who entered the playground with a machete last Monday after uh, after six o'clock. On the spot, the uniforms the, the uniforms uh, stopped the man who turned out to be eighty one. Holy uh, shit! And the man was sober, by the way, so <laughs> he, 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 he knew exactly what he was doing. That's even contro- It's a, even more controversial. <laughs> He oh, was sober. God. I mean, if he was drunk, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. But still, he, he this way you reasons. actually, you actually know he meant it. So he's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And there's a picture with it. I mean, of him. Yeah. Uh, no, with, 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 the, with, the, with the gun. With Danilov. What <laughs> gun? <laughs> it had the a machete, machete not, not a gun. <laughs> it's the gun. It's a machete gun. <laughs> so, so I mean, he 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 went in there and uh, he shouted threats at the boys who were playing football. The senior's aggression and the object in his hand. Well, what a surprise! Made the children stop playing and ran out <laughs> of the playground. Mm, unexpected. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but effective, nonetheless. Effective. Oh my god! I mean, he got his way. <laughs> hey, yeah, the court, it's gonna the, be one silent children, in prison. One of the children's mother was a witness to the event, and she notified the police when the 81-year-old started screaming at her, waving his machete at her. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck me. And Absolute yeah, he's, legend. He's going to court. Good luck. Good luck, Mr. Danny Tre- Trevito. <laughs> Danilov Trehovic. That's so good. <laughs> Danny Machete. Such a good job. Danilov Trehovic. <laughs> oh my but God. It's actually, I think, Daniel. It's Daniel. more. <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> I have Daniel no idea how Dracovic. Polish name sounds so. But no, I know Daniel is a Russian name. So Whatever I mean... works. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have uh, I have one that's absolutely fuck me absolutely cringe. I don't know, man. It's just uh, okay. I have mixed feelings on this one. Like I don't blame her, but on the other hand, you're fucking cringe, mate. <laughs> Okay. Fuck me. So hey, this one is from context. Scotland. <laughs> yes, it comes okay. from Scotland. A woman hosts who's the daddy party for pals to help her pick sperm donor. What? So can you, can... check this out. There's something, <laughs> there's, again, something even, there's something even more stupid than gender reveal parties. There's parties where you, you know, get your pals to decide what sperm donor you're going to pick up for your kid. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like those in, inseminations, like in a, in yeah, a bottle yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah, you have... In a, it's like Christina <laughs> Aguilera, a genie in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get to choose whose sperm you're going to get. Okay. Yeah, but that that's the catch. That's the catch. Because you have this party to have the others to help you. It's like, you know, it is... Fuck me. Sounds like a focus group for me, but it's, okay. It's like, it's like a focus group, exactly. <laughs> fuck me. Uh, it's like you have... I mean, imagine you're, you're just there scrolling at, at pictures of guys, and it's like, ah, I think I like this one now, but I like this one. It's like, why the fuck can't you decide on your own? <laughs> Yeah. 
the thing it's not that cringe but on the other hand it's like take your own goddamn decision for me it's cringe man it's like yeah or i don't know. know i don't know it's, it's, it's not the same that. as a, and, as and a gender also, reveal party it's, it's, it's also, also her ex, it's also her explanation that i find to be so fucking basic white okay. bitch kind of explanation <laughs> that's i mean i'm okay. sorry but no this is that's... gonna sound racist come on bring it on <laughs> no it's not racist because whites are involved okay so <laughs> well, yeah yeah <laughs> okay so this is this is what she had to say about this right and when i read this line i was like you know what fuck this shit but it's a good story for the podcast <laughs> so my ultimate goal in life since I was little has been to get married and have a traditional family. However, it hasn't worked out that way. When I broke up with the man I thought I would have children with, I was 31. So now she's 35 and she told to herself that she, you know, she would have to become quote solo mom. So I brought it forward as looking for someone else felt like a waste of time. I was like, you know what? Fuck me. You sound like a solo mom. <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, so, okay, so she broke up with this guy and then. No, I mean, right by now the, she by decided the, by, that uh, still wanted by, to get th- pregnant and have it. a kid. Just think about it for a little. So she dreamed to be a wife and a mother ever since she was a child. So, yeah, in, no in imagination my, there. And then... In my honest view, yeah, that's just basic. It's bullshit and. It sounds like a sad childhood. Uh, but it's like when I broke up with the man I thought I would have children with, I was 31, which made me begs the question. Did you broke up? Did you break up with him or did he break up with you? Because if you are so desperate to have children with the guy that you thought you're going to have children with, you know, sounds like you would try to make things work unless he decides to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, unknowns here. Know, yeah, there's a uh, lot of unknowns. Let me be biased. Okay, <laughs> you're always there's biased. A lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of details missing, but okay. I'm biased uh, towards your ass. Hey. Anyway, so throwing the sperm party. Was a way to get all the important women in my yeah. life involved That's in the a journey. Euphemism it's... for a bukake, right? <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, exactly. Was, yeah, it's... you're doing it wrong, man. <laughs> That's not the way to do a bukake, man. It, it doesn't mean what you what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Spoiler I put, party. I put oh up, my so, god. Check this out. So she's put up photos of her as a baby and does them to select a donor with blonde hair and blue eyes as I wanted my baby to look like me. This is one of the most fucking like Jesus fuck me. That sounds selfish as fuck. Jesus. Yeah, yeah that's but actually it's a sounds... Yeah, but it's stupid as well cuz uh, I don't know if you know but uh, the blue eyes gene is not a, a dominant one. So, unless I think she has to pick a guy that also has blue eyes. I think that's for what, the best. What it said for, there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's picking uh, up. Yeah. Even, even then, there's a there's a slight chance that it's not gonna end up with <laughs> blue eyes. I mean, straight to adoption. <laughs> straight to the orphanage, no blue eyes. Straight to the nah, orphanage. This is not the superior race. <laughs> We're gonna do another sperm party. Dismantle. <laughs> okay. And if you're if you're not a good kid, you're gonna play football in playground <laughs> in Poland. Okay. <laughs> And Daniel is gonna come for you. <laughs> Fucking Daniel. Imagine having a like a toy figure with of Daniel machete, with machete but with Putin's face. <laughs> Daniel, oh what was God. that? Tre- Trekovsky or Trekovic. 
<laughs> oh my god yeah so um that's it from me okay i couldn't yeah. find anything funnier but or, or heartwarming was, uh, at least that was I mean, funny enough i get the party I okay <laughs> i get it I i'm not say on I that man it. um I, I mean, wouldn't do the same. The most... We yeah, wouldn't do okay. the same, but I get it. Uh, you what can't I... be pregnant, so maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also, yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. That's also a part of the... <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. A small one, a small one. But a small dead. one. Yeah. <laughs> She lost me at the at the blonde hair, blue eyes thing. No, she right. lost me at the party. <laughs> if if you're that set on on getting that result, then maybe that's why you didn't find someone else in those four years. Maybe she was hunting only blonde guys with blue eyes. And I don't know. I yeah. mean, it's, it's she's in Scotland. I don't know. She was looking <laughs> I'm trying, in I'm the wrong country. <laughs> I'm trying to to, I mean, to be yeah. unbiased, but I'm like my dream since I was a kid was to have kids. What the I fuck? Mean, what are you dreaming dream. of flying or you know something more interesting? <laughs> or having depression, you know. That's uh, yeah, I mean more interesting than having a, a dream about having a family and a kid. I mean that's I mean, that all you yeah, can. I mean that's all you like, can. For you, watch, you, you watch, you watch Fast and is. Furious. You watch Fast and Furious, and you see how family turns out to be. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> it's all that's... about family. And uh-huh. family together is strong, just like apes. Imagine, 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 <laughs> imagine them ladies sitting down there trying to pick up some guy's sperm, and it's like I don't have friends. I have family. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. I get it. That's it. I don't know what else to say without all the details. I get it. I get it. I get it as well, man. I just completely disagree with this, which doesn't yeah. matter. But yeah. uh, it is what it is. Let Let's put it that way. Please if, flash your opinion is trash. If tomorrow there would be an apocalypse and I would just be alone on Earth with her, because there's a, there's some pictures with her here, so I I'm just gonna remember her just in case. Just in case. It would be a it would be a simple choice, you know. Which hemisphere do you want to live in? <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other one that she lives in. I mean, I'm such a gentleman that I'll just leave. I'll just find some gas and just, you know, be on my way. Bye bye, humanity. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah. I guess it's my turn now. Now the second yeah. best guy. The second best. <laughs> The champion of the losers. <laughs> <laughs> the average uh, Joe. Okay, so mama? my news. What? Joe Mama? Yo, Joe Mama, yes. <laughs> I'm suffering from a case of ligma. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Ligma balls. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and then Horia has Sagma. <laughs> okay, can see those I'm, jokes gonna, I'm gonna from I'm gonna a mile see, away. I'm gonna see Candice later on. <laughs> 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 Who's Candice? <laughs> Candice dick fit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> In other news. <laughs> In other news. Let's continue with my favorite subject ever because you told me last time that I didn't get anything I about mean... the, the favorite subject. And this time, it's all exclusively about dicks. <laughs> oh, oh my Come god. In. He's coming in strong. <laughs> we, should, we should ask a premium fee just for this segment. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> Like EA Games, you know, unlock this for nine ninety nine. This is a paid DLC for two ninety nine. For dick stories, it includes cutting dicks. 
<laughs> Actually, King dicks, raging dicks. <laughs> raging. That sounds like uh, some uh, corn hub shit. <laughs> do you do you eat corn the long way? <laughs> <laughs> okay first piece of news from uk then i have two follow-ups from the previous uh dick related stories you're, you're so involved yes <laughs> i mean really <laughs> this man has a mission <laughs> i wanted to see if we have any updates and we do and we have you really uh, care about those dicks yes i think this is the first time we we bring out uh, updates on previous stories. Uh, we had another no, one not. on the COVID word thing, at least. Oh, uh, okay. that yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a, a comeback from our fav- favorite guy ever. Uh, but okay. until then, I have the first piece of news I from the UK. Wait. Uh, <laughs> I know who's that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who's that. Exactly. He's, he's, he's insane. Is that... <laughs> Shh, don't spoil it. <laughs> don't spoil okay. it. Man breaks penis during sex, makes medical history by missing target. <laughs> what? A 40 year old British man was the first documented case of a vertical penile fracture. My vertical? Guy. Yes. How can you break it like vertical? Fuck exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of <laughs> impossible. It went but my dude his did ass. it. <laughs> this guy is the legend. How can you break something that breaks only one way? Recalculating route. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and it, it, did it split in half or something like that? I mean, it's, it's internally. Only it split yeah. internally. Yeah, yeah. It, man this is the only thing i can think of i mean just split so, in half. Fuck, man. basically my guy uh when uh, they were having uh, the sex uh the dirty deed the intercourse oh my god <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, the forbidden fruit <laughs> <laughs> yes uh my guy uh, did an ill time uh, thrust and uh, landed in uh, his partner's perineum he did, he did a <laughs> an ill-timed thrust and Ill he, timed. <laughs> he went forward but he didn't go when he should have and so oh, he no. landed he landed oh, between no. the the anus and the uh, vagine le, le vagine le vagine <laughs> all power to the thrust <laughs> I mean, he, and... he tried to, to make another hole there <laughs> what he was trying to do, man. And basically... He was trying to make a third hole because, you know, the three yeah. lions. <laughs> <laughs> and he basically went in like a fucking maniac in the perineum and his dick fractured vertically. Oh, for the, oh, the fracture was me. three centimeters long. <laughs> Oh, fucking! Oh, oh, it was. <laughs> you can see it in the uh, pictures I I sent you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we it's, really appreciate uh, the pictures. <laughs> it's uh, okay. So I'm not sure exactly what the medical Term thing is, is called. Right. Yeah, it's like MRI, oh, X-ray. That's an X-ray. I have uh, no fucking I, clue what they used to X-Men. catch this. They, they did an I think that's an him. MRI because on X-ray only only, only bones the bones show, show up. up yeah. yeah, but here you can see the actual tissue and the white well, the white part is the fracture. Oh, oh fuck <laughs> off! Fuck and that's me. like a one to one picture, right? I think so. Yeah. So Shit. my dude actually fractured his penis vertically and uh it um uh the thing is in his case usually for me what it says here uh when you get the fracture horizontally like everybody gets it when they get it if they get it it does a pop sound (laughs) in this guy's case it didn't do anything it exploded (laughs) it basically (laughs) just imploded (laughs) it didn't explode it imploded (laughs) so Uh, no sound imagine nothing (laughs) It just caused a minor swelling at first, <laughs> and then it started to... No pain? Boom. It did hurt, 
but yeah, I, yeah. there was only <laughs> minor <American>. swelling. <laughs> Okay. Also, yeah, so in his he's, case, he, he's growing. Yeah, it's like Ivan in... sends wake me up inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, <laughs> in his case, after the fracture, his erection faded gradually, uh, while in most cases oh. it just goes flaccid <laughs> immediately due to the pain. And the wheel was strong. <laughs> yeah, his brain was like, "Nah." Let me smash. Let <laughs> me smash. Let me smash. All here. Okay, you want some fuck? No run. <laughs> imagine, imagine the girl's ben confusion. <laughs> imagine the girl's confusion. Okay, uh, it was an MRI. I it says here. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, they were uh, the doctors were forced to to. Um, get a surgery done on him within 24 hours mm -hmm. to prevent complications and uh, apparently he he made a full <laughs> it was recovery complicated <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> he made a full recovery and he will uh, he was able to get back to uh, the sex in 6 months <laughs> Imagine being that stupid that you break your stick and then you you don't you don't <laughs> Not have to use it. For... You have a second attempt. <laughs> yeah, but Not in six only months you break your dick, you break it vertically. I mean, yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard about and then I mean, a vertical dick breaking. Apparently, it's the first documented uh, case. So. <laughs> He, he made oh history. Oh my god, Ma, <laughs> Ma look at yeah. me, I made history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now oh in the god. history I'm, book. <laughs> I'm, the first, I'm the first at something. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Ma, yeah, but no hands. I mean, look, Ma, I mean, no dick. I have another question. Mm. For, I mean, you said he was like 40 years old, right? Yeah. Yeah, but at, at the age of 40, how... Can you miss the target? I mean, don't you have maybe, done it before? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe he was a virgin. I mean, or from maybe that movie was... with Steve Carell, yeah. with the forty-year-old virgin. Maybe, or maybe he, was he was so just... desperate. Yeah, maybe it <laughs> yeah, was one of didn't... those cases where he was like oh, filled with oh, I hormones. Guess. I need it. I want it. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, I mean, and then he just went in with the force of two fucking suns, <laughs> with the force of a supernova, and his the dick just imploded. <laughs> so he had three lions basically, and he only saw two holes. So it's like, yes. yeah, they have one to fit of them, in. One All of them, them had to break. <laughs> Fuck off! And the little one <laughs> broke. So. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately for him. Yeah, but yes. this is this is a, a sad and funny story at the same time. Brish, we have I'm history brish. for the low price of two ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can only imagine that after he he felt something's wrong, he told Becky, "Give me the water. <laughs> <laughs> I need some water." I just, I just imagine their conversation. I mean. He, uh, she obviously felt something because if you, <laughs> if I mean, you... if he fractured his dick, she felt that. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, as a, I think as a girl, when the guy misses the target, I think you'll feel something weird. Just I mean, think. he went, he went <laughs> between the anus yeah, and the vagina yeah, in the perineum. Uh, I got that. So I got that. Like a wall <laughs> of skin and flesh, and he just fucking. Went raw into it. It's fucking yeah. ramming. A ramming. <laughs> For the glory of Rome. <laughs> oh, I do say, my 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 dear, uh, how do you call it? lady? Do they say lady? Is that a fancy thing to say? Lass. By the Brits, lass. <laughs> I do say, my dear lass. lass. I think I have fractured my penis. <laughs> my willy my, willy. my bone. My bone. <laughs> my bone. <laughs> My, my funny bone. My Richard. <laughs> <laughs> the funny bone. I fractured my funny bone. Okay. Uh, we yeah. need history. Let's move on. <laughs> to a follow up. In history on a Europol podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, do you remember the girl that cut off his uh, her boss's penis because uh, allegedly he wanted to? Oh fuck me! I fuck yeah. it's Anatolio Delatico. Fuck me! All I'm right. sorry I to disappoint that... you. I think it's that story dead. <laughs> okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah, said. I do remember her. Okay. Apparently, she went to prison without bail. Without bail, yeah. Like she's. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because the court what? rejected her version of events. Apparently, she's so, being held to, uh, in prison without bail uh, because she claimed that uh, she cut off her boss's dick because he sexually assaulted her. Uh -huh. Yada, yada. That's the story. Apparently, uh, when she claimed that she acted in self defense, that might not be actually through, uh, true. Uh, because there are, uh, there have, uh, they have, uh, what you, what you call them? Um, they other had an people. affair or what? Oh, like other people. Oh, witnesses. Witnesses, that's the word. They have witnesses claiming that they were a couple. And that okay. it okay. wasn't just the a strictly professional, and... uh, <laughs> relationship. And they were. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I feel she betrayed claimed... now because I remember that I, I was on her side. Yes. I feel betrayed she now. She claimed that uh, he tried to have sex with her multiple times. Uh, but following all the testimonies and all the stories, the court rejected her claims and sent her to prison with no bail. And the guy is still free. Plot twist. Because it's her that tried to the... have sex with him a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> because the evidence all points against her. And she was... Uh, uh, she was charged with, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, bodily harm with a dangerous weapon. No, oh, fuck me. Yeah, but he's so, free, but he's not actually free, right? Yeah, he's still <laughs> he's got a, a missing penis. man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, he, what could, a he could pass for a transgender now. Uh, so. he, what a massive They attempted bitch. to... It says here that they, they attempted to reattach his genitalia, but I'm not sure if it succeeded. It doesn't say. It just says about the attempt. If I get I actually, more I actually news read... next time. <laughs> <laughs> more about it. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> what a fucking bitch, man. Uh, yeah. I actually read some articles about this, uh, this topic. And then they say that uh, nobody actually uh, managed to transplant or reattach uh, basically a penis to 100% fully operational let's say like this well because when the i think when you i mean when she cut uh, his dick she also cut the nerves and all yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. that controls it mm -hmm. so uh, they can do it like to function when you pee but it cannot go hard as i as i read but mm -hmm. i might be wrong so I i'm not saying that kind of um medical advancements we have so yeah basically they they can't do the brain to <laughs> to lift up your dick again <laughs> at least you can have a piss yeah yeah i think that yeah that that's the that's the most they can do it now <laughs> but that's uh that's about it if i if, if i find anything else about it i'll i'll bring yeah, it please. up because <laughs> um as you can see, the initial story is not everything, so uh, we're yeah, going to keep it they, updated. They wanted, they wanted to, <laughs> to hear all the stories, not hers exactly. and his. <laughs> exactly. What a massive bitch. Fuck you. Exactly. Yeah, but you see how this fucking thing works? I mean, uh, if it was in a court of law, uh, just the two, two stories, uh, his and hers, they would have believed her. I if mean, she had evidence. If she had evidence, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah but are, with no evidence, what do you think? There are there are traces of. They I mean, I don't know they how can't these charge things work. On allegedly, they need evidence. Yeah, 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 and I, I mean, I guess the hard evidence there was well the the missing Willie. So. <laughs> yep, and then. <laughs> the hard. Uh, I mean, it's it, 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 it's it's something you can really see. So it's obvious. <laughs> and then you have no, the I mean, I testimonies mean, I... that 
actually they might have been lovers. Yeah, and then her claim is dog shit, so... Yep. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> this is like a Me Too story, I mean, a, a little bit late. Then, <laughs> you know, that's uh, that uh, saying that uh, ahead yep. of its time, that's late on this time. Uh, and then this is, this is taken to another level, man. I mean, to take his... The guy is uh, big. No, this is this is not me too stuff because like yeah. he he did. I mean, go... she claimed sexual harassment and shit. Yeah, so. well, she well, did I mean, that she after claimed, she but... got for his dick. So like, yeah, he he wasn't he wasn't. I I mean, by the sound of it, it it doesn't sound that he harassed her. We don't know yet. Me too. So I mean, is they actually harassed. Them. Yeah, but after the due process, basically. But at the first claim, like uh, in a lot of Me Too cases, uh, the girl claimed something that uh, he or the boss sexually harassed her or something like this, and there was no due process and the guy's oh, career yeah, it's, was over. It's the court of public opinion. That's the yeah, bullshit probably. part. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because we're not After the due process, to take decisions, he's right. But we still do on the internet, apparently. So, instead yeah. of waiting for... Even if the guy is gonna, I mean, you know, be proven innocent... As, 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 as in two a guy, years, see, I, I, no, I really, nobody's I really, gonna care. I really, I exactly. really think that uh, women are... Naturally, they are stronger emotionally. And emo when it comes to emotional uh, intelligence and control, I really think naturally they tend to be smarter. And that's why I think men need to be smarter when they put their dong in fucking stupid hoes and fucking crazy. Don't stick your dick in crazy. Just, it's You're just... spreading the knowledge. You, I mean, you know, yeah, you're, a, you're bringing back pussy. that word. <laughs> pussy, I'm a fuck the action, and then next thing you know, hey, you've been accused of rape, champion. So chill your champion. fucking enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, but this guy, it's dickless now, so he's okay. so only to, accused of to, rape. To bring this to an end, the claims presented okay. by both. And the, evidence, and the evidence found that the scene will continue to be investigated and, uh, you know, until they reach a final conclusion. So yeah, but I'm save gonna that keep site. An eye. I'm going to keep an <laughs> yeah, eye on it. Yeah, save that site. Bookmark it. <laughs> and lastly, lastly, Another dick. <laughs> lastly, oh for the You're low so price of five ninety nine. Well spoken. Five ninety nine. <laughs> okay. Another dick story. Because this is a special one. And you're gonna, I'm gonna love give you it. Ten dollars for two of them. Spanish rapper <laughs> Sanatorio del Atico. Oh, <laughs> so it's coming back. I knew it. It's I knew coming it. back. It was in okay. there, my man. Me, my, me hombre. <laughs> you're gonna be happy to hear that he was found <laughs> not guilty of cutting off he his British roommate's penis. He wasn't. I, I mean, he was. He was asked I mean, to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was the first service that he's done. <laughs> In my world, he should have been paid. <laughs> I mean, they fucking. He should fucking sue his his fucking roommate for wasting his time. <laughs> I mean, could, well, I I can't remember the story exactly. The Did meantime. the British guy paid him? I think Honestly, he paid him, right? Yeah, so, it was about a thousand dollars or something. Yeah, like basically, euros. <laughs> we we still don't know what the true story is. The <laughs> yeah, first time, it's... allegedly, uh, the the British guy paid him two thousand dollars or something to cut off his dick because he wanted to f be a woman or something. Uh, but then during the trial, the British guy uh, changed his testimony like four times. And in the end, so he I want to be a woman, but not really. In the end, he uh, said that he cut his own penis. And while then, this guy was filming for you, <laughs> and that he he went, he put his cut penis in a bag and threw it at Sanatorio del Atico, and was just saying, "I finally did it." I finally did it. You son of a bitch, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, the British guy was found to suffer from gender dysphoria, 
which it's a condition where the sufferer believed that they were born of the wrong sex. And that's sad. I mean... Okay, so what? basically, did he cut his dick off or not? So apparently... I mean... He cut it, it was, himself or it was, ethical cult? Since there was no evidence that Sanatorio cut the dick, there okay. was no recordings, and that the three other people that lived with them at the property saw nothing, uh, they went with the medical expertise that the British guy actually suffers from uh, gender dysphoria because he was, uh, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, a woman trapped in a man's body, I think they call it. Basically, <laughs> he was okay. uh, he was uh, seen by multiple doctors, okay. psychiatric doctors, psychologists, whatever they have. Uh, and basically, due to that, he gave conflicted uh, statements, and now they are pleading. Uh, uh, they are pleading the uh, the prosecutors, the judges, actually is asking the prosecutors to not charge the British guy uh, with perjury due to his mental state. Condition, yeah. Yeah, but... Makes because sense. he lied in I court. Think they, uh, I don't know how to, basically. to say it. They basically let Atiko go, right? Yes, I mean, he's not guilty because there's no evidence. The testimony is just guilty of, made, of making bad music, but... Yes. <laughs> I can't judge him for our, that. Our I, guy I, I, is I listen to some of his and, and it's like okay. <laughs> okay. So But I'm sorry for the British dude. Our guy is I'm free. Really Sanatorio did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I just hope I, I just I just hope the that the British guy is also gonna come at peace with himself. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, he, he needs I mean, some psychiatric uh, help. Yeah, I hope it's not like a scheme for just getting out of jail scheme. Plead, I'm not uh, sure. Euphoria, I don't whatever. I don't think I so, don't because think so. if, yeah, if it well, was like that, he would have said it from the beginning and just be done with it. Yeah, probably. I mean, let's uh, let's give him the benefit I of mean, the doubt. I mean, there's, right? there's, there's obviously some some, you know, conditions involved in there whether he asked someone else to cut his dick or whether he cut it himself <laughs> it's either way <laughs> there's something off so there's that yeah uh, that was the so news we feel me. glad for uh, mr attico <laughs> senor attico how, senor how, how, how they say it <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh, a, a, a like um a bittersweet end of this story, basically. Yes. I also hope the British guy is gonna find his space. Yes. Really? His penis. That's mm, I debatable. Th I think in the initial article they did attach it back and it's fully functional. I do oh, think okay. that's what happened. So yeah. Okay. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because I remember us laughing about that one because it's yeah. like. You know, he spent the money and it's like <laughs> task failed successfully. And he still gets to keep, keep the dick. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. that. And but that I mean, was if it. He wants to become a, I mean, if he wants to become a woman and that's his choice, then at least seek some professional... You know, get it done professionally. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Professionals have standards. Not, not with a butter knife in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but that was it. I leave the floor now to Mr. Ho. Yeah, uh, I have three stories today. Uh, two about. Uh, let me let me check first. I have one that is like heartwarming for you guys, and then two. I think you you over you overvalue this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you'll like it. I think you'll really like it. And then I have uh, from Germany to continue the tradition. Um, I have some thieves, but nice. with a twist. With a twist. It's like you're on, on such a specific niche. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yeah, mean, there's, there's, there's this I guy with I... thieves, then there's the guy with thieves, and then there's guy, there's the guy with with weird stories. <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so Hard the title goes. First. Yeah, yeah, basically, the the title goes like this. 
an entire neighborhood secretly learned sign language to make a deaf man's day better. Oh, nice. That's, yeah, that's actually cute. Where's yeah, I, I thought uh, this is in uh, this is in Turkey. Uh, in nice. uh, I think in it's called Oslem. It's like a neighborhood of Istanbul. Okay. And then yeah, this uh, this stunt basically it's a stunt they call it. Apparently. Uh, was uh, yeah, yeah allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> was organized by like uh, an ads campaign an advertisement campaign by samsung for i don't really know why because it's uh, i don't know it doesn't say it doesn't have a lot of details so it says like this year in a touching altruistic acts only slightly si slightly by there being an advert for a major brand residence of Istanbul surprise a deaf man by all learning how to sign. Okay. Sounds fishy. I don't know. I think it's a, like a publicity act for Samsung. So yeah, we care, basically. Okay. Oh, I mean, I yeah. Mean, Samsung, Samsung also came along with some anime waifu Siri kind of competitor. So I mean, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you you would buy that. <laughs> they, they they have it in their pockets. <laughs> allegedly, 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 absolutely, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. So his sister actually, I mean, this man's sister walked him around, and then uh, the 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 article goes like this: uh, in their walk, a passing pedestrian uh, signs hello. The man in the local shop signs. Uh, signs as in do these signs the day's it's selection of bagels signs. yeah then the very yeah, next person signs, they encounter signs carlo signs, signs. <laughs> <laughs> then the very next person they encounter and help collect his drop groceries signs that he'd like to offer them an apple as thanks by the Ooh. time a cab driver is also take, uh, talking right. to him in sign language uh I think his name is Muharem. Muharem. I don't know. It's pretty okay. freaked out. <laughs> the pair end their journey in a pub public square where the stunt is revealed and Muharem's neighbors are waiting to greet them. Even the heavy Samsung branding can sober him. And he winds up in tears, such that uh, others would consider how shut off the world must be to him every day. Pay that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that really that's, is. That's cute. But I mean, it's in the good way, like, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if it I mean, helps people, then I don't give a fuck if you're gonna, you know, yeah, brand exactly. it with yeah, 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 anime, exactly. your anime waifu. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was, uh, I mean, for all the weird stories that we tell here, we can sprinkle it with a, a kind one here and there. I think uh, sponsored Gabi by Samsung. Had... <laughs> yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Powered by Samsung. This video not, not actually I mean... sponsored. Yeah, this is not. Continue. Yeah, this is not. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to the to other. Uh, yeah, the other hey, Turkish look, if world. If we can send the anime uh, AI, we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's get back to the other and, Turkish and uh, galaxy. <laughs> the other Turkish country, that's Germany. Okay, so basically the title goes like this. Naked Berlin sunbather chases wild boar after it steal his laptops. What the fuck? Man, but that's so fucking old. That's like one year ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, Two yeah. years ago or so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, pictures of that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, August 2020, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's a good story. So <laughs> that's why I picked it. I I saw it's uh, it's a little bit older, like a year ago. But I was like, nah, this is funny enough. <laughs> So this could only be possible by a story in Germany. A wild boar broke the internet when it stole a bag containing a laptop from a naked... I don't know how to say this word. It's sunbather. I mean, the... Yeah. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's sun, sun sunbather, yeah. yeah. Who promptly gave his chase in his birthday suit. <laughs> uh, I, okay, so oh Germany is famous for both its large population of wild boars and its... 
large know, population of naked people. Yeah, of naked sunbathing. <laughs> Two things which collided in a spectacular fashion earlier this week. When a naughty wild boar stole a yellow bag from a man who was letting it all hang out uh, yes. near a lake in west of Berlin. Thank, uh, thankfully, fellow sunbathers were on a were on hand to capture the scene when the when the unlucky sunbather sprang up in pursuit of the boar without stopping the, <laughs> to grab his pants. <laughs> okay, so I have to. Uh, I don't know if you saw the the pictures, but I I, I have to send it. This I have to send this to Please you. Please do. Please do. I want to see it. Okay, share. I'm on my phone now, so wait a bit. Uh, here. Uh, how do you send it like this? How do you use the internet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the picture. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. And it was a wild boar with babies. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So they nice. wanted to have a Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's so yeah. cute <laughs> uh, and the last the last uh, thing that they say in this ar article it says nature strikes back <laughs> <laughs> did he get the laptop back uh, it doesn't say but I, I think, think uh, yeah but I think the, the other people around him actually I don't know scared the boar and then probably dropped the, the bag Aww. with the laptop. The poor piglets yeah, but... don't have a laptop <laughs> now. They don't God have internet. It. It's uh... Yeah, but the, the, <laughs> the picture of him chasing <laughs> the boar naked. <laughs> oh my God. It's just amazing. I mean, I, I laughed just all, uh, I mean, just at the pictures, I just burst into laughter. <laughs> Poor guy. I, know, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I have to tell this story. Maybe they know it because it's a year old, but I don't know. I didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, and I have another story about, like, a failed scam, basically. Okay. And an, um, an deceiving uh, elderly guy, or, no, uh, a deceiving er elderly woman. Oh. So basically, this, <laughs> yeah, this hmm. is the story. Uh, Willie Pensioner lures con men into the hands of Hamburg police. What? Yeah, a trickster got more than he bargained for when he attempted to con a 95-year-old woman in Holy Harburg. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out of, yeah, out of thousands of euros. Recognizing that she was uh, uh, being scammed, the wheelie pensioner turned, to, turned the tables and managed to lure the fraudster into a trap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so how old was he? Uh, oh I don't know if he says. Let me, let me check. Holy shit. So at Yo, 95, does... yeah, she, she got... fucking outplayed a fucking con, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You it can't outsmart it. <laughs> you yeah, can't but... outsmart outsmarting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the saga began when the pensioner received a phone call from a woman pretending to be a friend who told her that she was in hospital and urgently needed three... Th three I uh... think the age of my friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 30,000 30, euros for a ventilator. Luckily, the elderly woman immediately recognized that the call uh, as a fraud attempt and played along. She told the woman she would fetch <laughs> 20,000 euros from the bank. Unbeknownst to the caller, however, she asked the caretaker to alert the police while she was still on the phone. When the officers arrived, they listened on the phone on the phone call and guided her. The scammer asked for even more money and she promised another 11,000 euros. Nice. I mean, yeah, <laughs> she was playing at this time. I mean, at this point. Uh, after, after that call ended, the woman received the uh, barrage, I think, of further nice. calls from... An, yeah, I mean, she received a lot of calls from a number of different fraudsters. First, Where the money? Man, 
Yeah. To wear money. <laughs> First, a man who said he was a police officer and that he had received an alert from her bank account about a major cra- uh, cash withdrawal. Next, an alleged bank employee phoned to ask the woman to confirm that she had made the transfer. Then the original caller got back to the phone, said a, ho- a hospital employee would come to her home to collect the money, which she was supposed to hand over in, a, in an envelope. A little while later, a man got out of a taxi and began to walk towards the woman's home. Special investigators uh, investigators were on standby. Yeah, they watched as he handed an envelope to the man, then swooped into a rescue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No and money. then Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then the article goes uh, when the police actually uh, warns the people of Hamburg and all Germany basically to pay attention to these fucking scammers. Fucking but uh... pensioners, <laughs> if you try to scam them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I thought that this this lady was like, okay, she was ninety four, ninety five years old, but she played along. I mean, she was like, yeah, genius. sure, mate, I'll give you the money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when? <laughs> oh, no. I, I can't do 30,000. 30, 40,000? <laughs> I can do 20. <laughs> Best I can do is 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a marked envelope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you 11 more. Just come now. <laughs> I'm home. Come. I'm Sit waiting for it. you. <laughs> Make yeah. <up>. Invest. <laughs> Invest. Hans, bring the flam and flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Fucking legend. It's just yeah. a fucking excuse it. For a 95 year old woman, I mean, that's pretty impressive because and the you know how this coming, goes... the guy's gonna get charged with impersonating a, an official. At yeah, least yeah, without yeah, impersonating they're... a cop. That's like <laughs> that's like yeah. bad legal shit. Yeah, that's like three to five mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you get extra just for being a dumb con man. At least leave out the cop part. <laughs> you yeah. fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. She's yeah amazing. Simply amazing. Uh, yeah. I was like impressed. You're simply the best. <laughs> Better than the scammers of the West. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Those were some nice stories. It yeah. was a very nice episode. Uh, and yeah, do you have any, anything else to add other than coughing like an old German man? Running for yeah, his I'm laptop. So- yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. A boar gave me this cough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I think I picked the cold, so that's why I coughed. Oh, you picked but, it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. From the market, I went nice. to. I bought. I bought. I bought it. <laughs> I bought. Uh, basically, Mister... yeah. Basically, I don't, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to to add. Mister Gabriel. Thank God. anything to add from your side no no okay then that was today's episode thank you for tuning in and we'll have more dick choppings next time take care hopefully hopefully Hopefully. (laughs) for the low price of 4.99 We'll have more dick choppings next time. <laughs> Subscribe, invest. <laughs> invest. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a subscribe and a like wouldn't wouldn't be that bad for oh, us. Fuck but... off. <laughs> we're, we're just doing it for us. For one ninety nine. Yeah. For one ninety nine, Hori, I can suck your dick. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> deliver him with premium express delivery in just one day, wherever you are. <laughs> uh, okay, it's time to stop. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Yeah.